Ladies and gents and everything in between and outside of it, this is what we've been waiting for the entire time I've started this channel. This is what we were waiting for. My bookshelf! Jokes on you. It's not there yet. You're gonna have to go with me through the preps. For people who are not familiar with me, hi, I'm Sophia, and I've been trying to get a bookshelf for a couple of months now, and my room sucks because I have these little pillars that won't allow me to get anything that doesn't fit. Also, because my wall is slanted, I can only have bookshelves until above here, which is so great. Um, so yeah, that's been my problem, and funny enough, there's no bookshelves that fit. None. So me and my dad, as the hard workers that we are, decided we're gonna make our own bookshelf. But this is where the bookshelf's gonna be. We got little metal hanger things with little hooks and we got some beautiful planks. And when I say beautiful, I mean beautiful planks. And we're gonna cut them in two. We have two of them, so we have four planks for um, off my books. And if you don't know, I have a little of a book buying problem. So of all these books, I think I've read four. So it's been an issue and I've been trying to get rid of this issue. It's just not working. I just keep buying more. I really want to clean everything that's in here and on top of this so we can take this away and then I'm gonna have to clean everything underneath, vacuum, clean everything on the side. So this is what we're dealing with, um, with all of this on top. later it is an absolute wreck cleaned out this corner i'm now going to take everything up here so yeah because we're going to get started apparently i am just throwing everything on my bed It's my bed. Yes. Is it out of the way and I can vacuum now? Yes. This is my bed. And that's where that is. My dad said, we'll move it together. And the second I said, no, 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 no. You're too slow. I am going to vacuum now. I hate vacuuming. Cutting some pieces of metal while I have moved this, vacuumed, moved everything off of it, made my room an extra big mess. I am so tired. It's also really warm out today, that's why I look like this. So I'm absolutely boiling right now. But I can't put my fan on because that's where that is supposed to be. I will see you when we get started. So these are little metal poles. There's two of them, and then we're gonna screw them into the wall and then we just basically have to put on the planks these little things which you basically like you put them in like that and then the plank rests on top of this and there will be one shelf all the way on the top then one and then another one there's quite a big space on the bottom i thought i could maybe get like little like wooden baskets or like just like really cute little baskets that i can put underneath so i can have a bit of storage just a thought and then i can also immediately get a few more decoration things because i have quite a few but like I want more. They are hung, so we are in a, a miniature dilemma. Basically, you can move these around, right, to where you want them. But obviously, it needs to be a big enough space that a book would fit. So we can either do this on the sides, so then we have enough space for one book here, one, like one shelf of books here, and one shelf of books here, and then they can put nothing or something underneath. Or what we can do. So we have one, two, and then a one like smaller shelf, and then underneath. I think I'm do we're doing this one. My dad has decided he's just first. We're only gonna cut one in half, and then we're gonna see what we want, and because then I can at least get started. And I'm pretty sure I might go to town later and get a few things. Yes. So these are the first two shelves. I literally took out the pillows, um, just for this moment. So I think this looks really cute together, and I'm definitely keeping that. Uh, these are all the books that really 
fit aesthetically together, that one fits. The amazing woman that I am, I came up with an amazing idea. If we have a little box that fit right here, we could literally put a shelf on this and then we still have the right amount of space between all of them. I'm still going out to town. I'm gonna look for a few more plants and um, I'm gonna look for maybe a few things that would look really nice there or something that I wanna add. Town had absolutely nothing. Nothing. So I'm a bit upset. When I went decorating shopping, it was not very successful. All the stores had stuff, but not really stuff I wanted. And then today, me and my mom, we went to Ikea and we got so much stuff. I'm about to give you a little haul. The first thing I got are these white flowers because I got like a lot of flowers and these are just, they're just cute. These are fake. I'm not good at taking care of plants, so. We got these two with these little pots. They're all, all the, all the shit I bought is fake, so. And I thought these could find a little, really cute place on the shelf. And I think that it will look very nice. And then I got these, which are like little little butterflies. These are fake. These are obviously made. And then I have one of these to put the f these in. Like they're made to do that. But I think this would make such a great. It just would look great on the bookshelf. I hope it fits though. It's quite big. And moving on, this is the rug I bought. It's green. Um, it kind of looks less green right now because of the plastic. And it's gonna go by my bed because I have zero rugs in my room and I thought maybe add some personality. And then I got this bad boy. So see, we have the white flowers in here and these. I still have to kind of like make it work because it doesn't look that great yet. And then obviously I went decoration shopping uh, also to look for baskets. Ikea did not have the type of baskets I want, wanted, just nor the size, but Action has those. I know they do. I know they do. And they're open till 8 p.m. today, so I'll probably pop in there later today as well. I apologize for the fan noise, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. It's fucking boiling in my room, alright? Um, I just got back from town and I got these bad boys. First, I saw like the ones that I was initially going for. And they like constantly had like kind of the right size, but not really, so it was really pissing me off. So I was like, okay, you know what, I'm gonna leave this behind, I'm gonna look for other ones. And I saw these. I got two black ones and one uh, like more original color, because these were the only ones they had left. I probably will need like one another one of this one, but then like I can just go back later this week, but then at least I have these so far. The moment of truth. See, I think a whole nother. Yeah, see, a whole nother one can fit in here. So, this is definitely the most sexy angle you're gonna ever see me at. So, we have these two. So, here's the first, we have to open this. I had like a really shitty week this week. So, like, this is like the perfect therapy. Like, my mom knew what I needed. It was her idea to go to IKEA. And how am I supposed to take this carefully out without breaking the butterflies? Isn't this adorbs? It fits. It fits there. I'm not gonna keep that there, but I just won't have to just won't have everything in one place. Okay. You can just tell how bloody sweaty I am. Rug. How am I gonna do this on my own? Cause it would be easier if there was somebody like pulling on the other hand. Maybe I can do that. Ah, it's like intertwined. There's a vacuum. See, I'm not tall, but this is worked close to my head. I have like tall friends, yeah. I think it's really cute. I think it adds a lot to the room. I'm sweating so hard I can't do anything properly. The um if it's fucking handy to put it there, no. I think it's absolutely adorable and I want to keep it here, so I don't give a shit what you say. You don't know how much time I'm going to spend on that rug. It's literally going to be my new bed. Also, I forgot to show you guys. I got these as well. I mean, this woman at the fu fucking Ikea, Jesus Christ. 
her daughter was like scared of like the escalator and then she was like crying and screaming right because she was scared to go on there and then her mom was like stop screaming but she like screamed it louder than her kid was screaming and i'm so tempted to like yell back it's a fucking hypocrite sorry so this is number one this is number two and this is number three and then Should I maybe put them like, oh my god, I could put them around here, wait. I don't think this is gonna work. I'm just gonna leave this. Let me know in the comments where I should put this. Uh, probably by the time I post this, I found a place, but maybe if one of you comments something superior, then I might just change it. It's the next day, and I think not many more changes will be made. I'm gonna show you the finished product. I'm gonna do a little aesthetic showing. I'm also gonna show you a bit more of like other parts of my room that were like included in this video. And I'll try to like update you like a bookshelf like update if I like change anything just like randomly throughout my videos. Let's get started.